Hi, it's your old pal, Life the Impaler. You guys, the Hawaii event is almost here and I can barely contain my excitement. Oh, there we go, back to normal. Now, before you get impatient, resist the urge to skip through this video because in a few minutes, I will be debuting an image of one of the Tiki Warrior Cubies that will be available during the Hawaii event. The 2022 Hawaii event starts at midnight UTC on May 4th and ends at midnight UTC on May 13th. For those of us in North America, that means evening on May 3rd through evening on May 12th, depending on your time zone. For the handful of you that were around for the 2021 Hawaii event, I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that this year's event will be almost nothing like last year's event, so whatever you learned last year, you can just delete that from your brains right now. The good news is that, well, this year's event will be almost nothing like last year's event. But if you still have resources from last year, you've got a head start. Let's get into it. Once again, this will be a quest chain event, which means you'll have to be prepared to throw a green, yellow, and red key into the quest chain in order to complete it. However, this will be the first quest chain that is 100% effort-based. In previous events, completing the quest chain often involved a little and sometimes a lot of luck. Now all you have to do is be willing to burn a week of vacation and almost kill yourself with the physical and mental effort. In all seriousness, the RNG factor in previous events often left a lot of people disappointed at the end when they weren't able to complete the quest chain simply due to bad luck. This one we tried to... Um reduce the RNG as much as possible. However, of course, all these things are a balance, right? So one of the good things about RNG is that, yeah, you could get lucky and you could get the epic after uh, 20 minutes of hunting, right? So with this system, that's impossible because it's effort-based. So you're going to need to solve uh, 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 an exact number of volts in order to advance through the quest chain and get the blueprints. So um, it is still a lot of work, but at least... Um, you're not going to go nuts because RNG is not on your side. Two of the three QBs from last year's Hawaii event will be returning this year. The common hula QB and the rare surf QB. New this year will be the rare sneaky seal QB and the epic sea turtle QB. In addition to that will be the gulp 27 Tiki Warrior QBs. 27! I mean, what?! There are currently only 59 QBs in the game, so for most of us, this event could theoretically double our QB inventories in a week. Based on what was said at the Hunter's Lodge, all of the blueprints will be common, but what you get from those blueprints will vary greatly. The Tiki Warrior blueprints will be a one-use randomizer blueprint, like the cat blueprints that were available in the game shop last October. When you throw these blueprints into a print shop, 12 of the Tiki Warriors will have high drop rates, 9 will have medium drop rates, and 6 will have low drop rates. To be clear, your first blueprint will come from the quest chain, but all subsequent blueprints will be purchased by you in the game shop once enough Tiki Warriors have been equipped in the game to satisfy the fabled chief. If it's anything like the common cat blueprints, the Tiki Warrior blueprints will cost two green keys each. So I hope you've been hoarding keys. In any case, I hope you live near a print shop because boy, you're going to need it. Several images of the Tiki Warrior QBs have already been released. Now I have to admit that with 27 of these guys, I assume that the Tiki Warrior QBs would look pretty similar, but I've been pleasantly surprised at how unique they are. That said, you can kind of tell just by looking at them which Tiki Warriors will probably be common and which ones will probably be rare and epic. Like this guy, he looks common, while this guy, he definitely looks epic. I'm also looking forward to seeing the animations for all these QBs. Some poor soul has probably been working on the animations for months. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the debut of the Pie Pika, aka Pizza Tiki Warrior. Look at that guy. He looks like he wants some pizza. I feel you, man. So while you might get, I don't know, 40 or 50 blueprints during this event, they can theoretically print out 15 of the same QB, which is going to make a lot of people very sad, but also excited, but also sad. At this stage, it looks like we'll have roughly the same collection of resources as last year. Red Lay, Plumeria Flowers, Hibiscus Flowers, and of course, Resin. Lots and lots of resin. Also, it hasn't been mentioned yet, but it seems likely that the hard-to-get beach cocktail resource will return as well. Here's some news that will only excite about 12 of you. Okay, also we're going to have a portal vault. So somewhere in one of the Hawaiian islands on a famous location, 
a purple vault will appear during the Hawaii event. Do not think that it's going to be on one of these uh, spots on the map here. That's just a graphic, so I'll let me just, you know, make sure that nobody goes and checks all these points. It could be somewhere entirely different than these points. This is purely just a cosmetic graphic, okay? So if you're in Hawaii and have saved up a purple key and have access to a very fast boat, you could theoretically have a very good week. The rest of us will just have to wish we're in Hawaii, just like always. Again, this event will have a quest chain just like the ones we saw in the Christmas and Chinese New Year events, but with several changes. The biggest news is that everyone who participates in the quest chain will get an NFT, not just the first five people that complete the quest chain in every country. And that NFT is literally only going to cost you one blue key. So pretty much anyone that signs into the app during that week will come away with an NFT. Even better, going forward, every event will have a participation NFT. So that NFT slot in your inventory is finally going to have some stuff in it. Here's a live look at my current NFT inventory. Yeah, needs improvement. People who finish the quest chain will get the now ubiquitous tickler box full of who knows what riches and a Hawaii headquarters blueprint skin. And of course, of additionally, the first five per country to finish the quest chain get the unique behind the scenes NFT. What's a behind the scenes NFT? It's anyone's guess, but I'm excited to see. And that's everything we know about the event at the moment. If you have any questions or theories about the event, leave a comment down below and we'll indulge in a little dubious speculation together. As always, please like and subscribe, and if you're new to Coin Hunt World and haven't established your headquarters yet, consider using my referral code. Doing so will get free loot for both you and me.